the apartments, and uh, uh, I can give you some update information on some of that situation, but uh, I know that a lot of them are anxious to get back in there, and uh, some of them will be able to move back into their apartments today, um, but uh, I think there were 21 apartments that uh, are not going to be inhabitable for a while, uh, so we're dealing with those, uh, those folks. Uh, actually, the the actual apartments that got the heavy damage from the fire were it was limited to two two apartments, um, and that's uh, that was on the third and fourth floor uh, on that wing. Uh, so, uh, what we're seeing more than more than anything else is uh, from the sprinkler system running for a period of time. We got some uh, water that seeped down into the first and second floors and caused some water damage, uh, but it's not really to the, uh, to the uh, occupant's uh, belongings as much as it is the, uh, like the baseboards and the, uh, the carpet and things like that that the, uh, they'll have to do some, uh, some work on, but uh, the losses are not going to be that great for the, uh, you know, the resident's uh, property. We went ahead and did air quality testing this morning and inspected them, and uh, they turned them over to the uh, management of the apartments pretty much to be reoccupied.